This video may contain spoilers if you're not up to date on your Marvel. What Marvel Studios project is rumored to need four months of reshoots? Who are the most important characters of Marvel's Phase 4, according to producers themselves? And Natalie Portman teases Thor 4's breakup flashback sequence with Chris Hemsworth. Stay tuned for answers to all these questions and more. First up, Natalie Portman teases Thor 4's breakup flashback sequence with Chris Hemsworth. Just a little longer until we get to see Natalie Portman taking up her role as Jane Foster again. It's been nearly a decade since her last full appearance as Jane Foster, ignoring for a moment the few seconds of footage in 2019's Avengers Endgame. What exactly happened to Foster between her last full appearance in Thor The Dark World and Love and Thunder, except that the two ended up breaking things off before Thor Ragnarok. The fact that this all happened off-screen more than a little upset a lot of fans, but the Direct was able to obtain the summer of 2022 issue of Disney's D23, in which Portman and Hemsworth opened open up about how they realized they were filling in the blanks of what they thought had happened, but that there wasn't a whole lot of evidence to work with. And as Hemsworth remarked, that left open a whole lot of room for interpretation and asked interesting questions. What did they even look like when they were together? Why would they break up? It was really fun to get to imagine the parts of their relationship we hadn't seen, says Portman. Many have wondered whether this all might mean the two might be getting back together, especially after some set pictures that seem to suggest they will. But in order in order to get any real answer to our questions, we'll have to wait until July 8th, 2022. Next, Mary Elizabeth Winstead has joined the MCU. Through the years, Marvel Studios has slowly but surely expanded its star portfolio by the handful, which has been dearly needed, as the MCU has been rapidly growing, especially since Marvel expanded to include a number of streaming services on Disney+. This expansion into the TV series world is the main reason that has allowed the MCU to push their currently still mysterious narrative forward more rapidly with shows like Loki, Ms. Marvel, and the upcoming She-Hulk, Attorney at Law. And now, word on the block is that Marvel Studios has enlisted Mary Elizabeth Winstead to be part of the MCU as well, and she'll most likely even be joining Marvel during the current Phase 4. In fact, there is very good reason to believe that Winstead will be stepping into the shoes of Abigail Brand, Commander of Sword. Though not one of the better-known characters of the Marvel comics, Abigail fits perfectly into several elements that have recently been brought into the MCU. There has been a void of superhero intelligence operations ever since the main MCU spy agent, S.H.I.E.L.D., came down in Captain America, the Winter Soldier. S.W.O.R.D. was introduced to the MCU in the WandaVision limited series, and we know that the upcoming Disney Plus series, Secret Wars, will center around an invasion of Earth by Skrull shapeshifters. It would only make sense if S.W.O.R.D. got involved, hopefully with Winstead as Abigail Brand. And now, four-month-long reshoots locked in for Secret Invasion. Invasion. Speaking of Secret Invasion, the anticipation for this particular Marvel Studios production has been particularly high, but fans were wary when reports that shooting had wrapped on Secret Invasion back in April, because it's become almost a tradition for Marvel by now that reshoots will eventually be scheduled. And what do you know? They don't just have to do reshoots for Secret Invasion, new rumors reveal that the reshooting is to last a total of four whole months. Samuel L. Jackson, who will be taking up the role of Nick Fury once again, recently disclosed that he will be returning to the set of the Marvels for reshoots sometime in August, while at the same time confirming that there was still some work to be done on Secret Invasion as well. But a reshoot of four months is not ideal for any production. Could it be the reshoot timeline of four months also includes the time needed for the Marvels? It's still not known how Secret Invasion is going to connect to the Marvels, but the fact that Nick Fury has a big part to play in both projects could hint at how both Secret Invasion and the Marvels are poised to be game changers. Maybe the reshoots are meant to iron out some scenes that will make the transition between the two more smooth. Though it's very possible that with everything that's going on in the world, the show needed a new primary location country. Don't go anywhere. Next up, we'll tell you who the most important characters in the MCU are, what new name has been added to the cast of Blade 2, and reveal what connects Reed Richards to Doctor Doom. So let's get going. No time to lose. Now, two most important characters of the MCU confirmed by producers. One of the loudest and most most important debates in the Marvel fandom is about who are the most important characters in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Two of the three top contenders are either Brie Larson's Captain Marvel or Elizabeth Olsen's Scarlet Witch, both of whom are more than capable to hold their own. But power alone does not necessarily make a character important as well. Robert Downey Jr.'s Tony Stark is definitely one of the most important characters, but he's absolutely not one of the most powerful ones. We now see Benedict Cumberbatch's Doctor Strange in a similar role, with Kevin 
Kevin Feige even saying that his Doctor Strange is the anchor of the MCU. During the audio commentary for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, a few creatives behind the superhero film discuss who they think are two of the most important heroes for Marvel's Phase 4. Producer Richie Palmer says that if Doctor Strange is the anchor of the MCU, then Wanda Maximoff is the jewel in the crown. In other words, Stephen Strange and Wanda Maximoff are the two most important characters of the MCU's first post-Infinity saga phase. He added that they don't like watching her going through the pain she's going through, but it's what makes her a human being, which allows us to empathize with her. But that didn't make it any easier to watch one of our heroes fall. Following, Milan Ray has been added to the cast for Blade 2. If there has been one film that has been most patient in its development process during MCU's Phase 4, it must be Marvel Studios' Blade sequel. First announced in July 2019 during the San Diego Comic Con, which is also when Kevin Feige welcomed Mahershala Ali to the stage to confirm his status as the Eric Brooks of the MCU. The only other names that have been officially confirmed to be attached to the project are Aaron Pierre and Delroy Lindo. But now, with mere moments to spare before filming is scheduled to start, news has broken about a new name that has been added to the cast for the Vampire Hunter reboot. Her name is Milan Ray, named after the black cosmetics company called Milani, but without the I, and she's 14 years old, and we have every reason to believe that she'll be the one who's going to bring Fallon Gray to life. Fallon Gray was supposed to be the centerpiece for a new Marvel comic, but the project was met with backlash after word got around that a fully white male creative team was going to tell Gray's story. But her character was never completely abandoned. Looking at Ray's age, fans are convinced that Marvel Studios has decided that the live action Blade reboot is the perfect place to finally bring Fallon Gray to life. Are you convinced as well? And lastly, Marvel has confirmed the connection between John Krasinski's Doctor Doom and Doctor Strange 2. Ever since Disney took over Fox Studios, fans have been very impatient to see the Fantastic Four finally getting the love and attention they all deserve. Yet the first instance of Marvel Studios' use of its newfound first family came as a bit of a surprise, albeit still a pleasant one. And for that, we have John Krasinski to thank, who took up the role of Reed Richards for the first time ever in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. He even mentioned his wife and children. And on top of the streaming debut of the Stephen Strange sequel, the digital purchase that has been made available comes with a nice little treat, an audio commentary of the film. And there's a very interesting moment when Reed Richards is on the screen for the first time. Sam Raimi, the director, commented how Krasinski was cast because it was a wish of the fans, and Kevin Feige wanted to give that dream to the fans. But more importantly, producer Richie Palmer notes how the portal Reed Richards enters through was, in fact, Doctor Doom's time platform. So what does that mean? Well, it's very possible this is all there is to it. Just a fun little Easter egg without any repercussions. Waldron probably just took inspiration from the comics. Unless Reed Richards and Doctor Doom are friends. What do you think? That was it. Why do you think Thor and Jane broke up? Let us know in the comments. And thanks for watching.